I was being super funny. And you don't have any of that on there. No, that's okay. Shoot. Hey, crazy RVers. Uh, welcome to the rig. Today we're actually talking, asking the question, are X chocks worth it? We, uh, we picked these up a while ago last summer and we're going to do some testing here because I kind of want to show you the results that we've had with them as well as, yes, I have a purple pencil crayon, so I was making my notes with, but well, first, what is an X chalk, Karma? I don't, this is an X chalk and I learned that it goes in between the wheels on your camper. That's right. It goes in between the wheels of your camper. It and forms it, an X. It locks them into place <laughs> so that they don't move. We found that when we were uh, just sitting on a picnic table and we would sit and watch the tires of our camper as people were moving around in here, you can just see it just move just like slightly. And so what this does, this takes all of that wiggle and everything out of there. And right now, you can tell it's super wiggly in here. That was just a table. Well, that was the table. Okay. But we have we have no stabilizers on in here. But we're gonna we're gonna do a complete test and show you we've got our fish bowl on the floor with no fish in it. The cats took care of them. It's cats, okay. The cats ate the fish. Yes. And we're gonna do a test to see, you know, how much the water moves based on the different levels of stabilization. So what you can expect from the X chalk, and then we're gonna talk about our own take on it as well as give you an update on our sticker club and what we do with our stickers and an update on our truck and what we're planning for the next, for this coming fall. So stick around for that and let's get started with the extra. Hey, we're Richard, Karma, Brooklyn, Brayden, and Acacia. So we love to explore and share life as a family with all the adventures along the way. We hope to inspire you to chase your dreams by joining us in our crazy RV. So you can see our setup on the floor here, what we've got as to how much, how much the water actually moves about as we're moving about the camper. And our camper moves quite a bit. It's a 2005 Jayco Eagle. It's quite large. Sorry, there's a fly. <laughs> I'm trying to kill them. And, uh, I think the leaf springs are also poor, like they're not brand new, they're not stiff, so I think that does play into it a little bit, but the biggest problem we have is that I get a little bit motion sickness, and this is probably my biggest reason for going after them. So when I'm when I'm lying makes in... makes you feel sick? Well, when I'm lying in the bed, yeah. Oh. It doesn't make me feel sick, it makes me think like, oh, am I going to feel sick? Oh. And okay. so you're lying in bed and then... You're, you're wobbling around. I would never make it sleeping on a boat. I don't think it'd have no. to knock me out. And so dealing with that, I'll give you a little bit of a hint that it has been better with the x chocks. So let's get started on our experiment. Okay, so this is how our experiment is going to work. Uh, we're going to start with no stabilizers whatsoever. We just have the front, the front down and we're sitting on our tires and Karma's gonna walk around just to give us a baseline as to how much wa the water in the fishbowl actually moves. You can see there's actually quite a bit of movement in that. So now we're gonna go outside. We're gonna drop the back stabilizers down, which I just installed brand new ones, so those are good to go. We're gonna drop the back stabilizers down and then we're going to um, do the test again and see, okay, we just have our factory defaults. What does that look like? Again, go in here. Two things to note about our experiment is one, the camper is not 100% level. Our truck uh, is out of commission for the moment, which we'll talk about later, but uh, we just had a friend drop off the camper here and it wasn't leveled or anything. So you can see by the level on it, it is not 100% level. And I don't know if that will really matter to our experiment, but just so you know. And the second part is that it is quite windy outside. So 
There's a little bit of wind playing on the camper, but that shouldn't affect it either. Okay, so the X-Shock, and ours came with a ratchet tool as well. And all it does is it just goes in between the tires here. And it locks the tires in place just like that. I'm going to do the other side too. It's better to do this before the slide is out. Where's your sense of adventure, Richard? In the camper. Okay, X shocks are on. Test number three. Okay, our take on the x shocks absolutely make a huge difference for our camper. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing I notice is that when the kids roll over, we have the bunkhouse in the back and we're in the nose. And specifically when someone rolls over, it's not that you don't feel it. You don't feel it as much, you yeah. still feel it. However, the recovery time, like uh, it tones it down right away. Whereas before you get, you know, that I'm in the ocean and I, someone rocks the boat. I'm in the hammock trying to sleep and someone gives me a push a little tap. and it just takes forever for it to stop rocking. In this case, the, the rocking is over right away. You feel someone move and it's done. And we, we actually, we absolutely love them. And are they worth the money for us? Absolutely. What do you think? Have you tried them? That's what we want to know. Leave it in the comments below. Uh, we'd love to hear about it. Uh, other thing is if you do like trading stickers, We've got some awesome stickers here from uh, other people and we take our stickers and we actually have these three boards that we uh, put our stickers on. And so if you've sent us a sticker, uh, they're going to travel around with us uh, inside. Cozy comfort, air conditioned. So if you want to trade stickers with us, please uh, DM us on Instagram and we'll definitely get you some stickers. As for the truck, well we'll tell you the story uh we're on our way home and we're about half an hour from home and all of a sudden our truck began to buck and so we stopped we pulled over uh we took a look around we checked on everything there was no indicators that anything was going yeah. wrong there was no indicators that we looking around thought well it just feels like did the spare tire let loose again is it bouncing down the road no it's perfectly mm -hmm. fine I had some tests done out, found out that one of the cylinders wasn't firing. So we ended up taking it into the shop, got the injector changed on it. And after that, we're still having a problem where between certain RPMs, the truck was not working right. It was still having that bucking action. Uh, and it wasn't, it wasn't like a driving bucking action. It's just more when you rev between certain RPMs, all of a sudden it's like it was gasping for fuel. Uh, switched injectors around again and the issue still uh, persisted so we're looking at wiring and all of these other things and then all of a sudden boom completely lost compression in the one cylinder and filled the shop with blue smoke so long story short we've been chilling out waiting and we'll probably be without our truck for another two weeks at least and we've already been without it for two and a half two and a half it'll be we're out for a month mm -hmm. but we're getting a new engine so Hooray! Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be ready to go for another 500,000 clicks. That feels good. So, unexpected, not what we wanted to do, not what we wanted to spend our money on, but it is what it is. So, we're excited. We're still gearing up for this fall, and hopefully we'll be able to go on our trip, of which we'll be talking about in upcoming videos as to where we're going, what we're gonna be doing, and all the fun things that we're gonna do along the way. And part of that hinges on when we get our truck back because we are not 100% sure if we're going east or west. It really depends right. on a number of different factors. But Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this video has been helpful for you and definitely check out X-Shocks. We'll leave the link uh, down below. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. We hope to inspire you as you chase your dreams. And we will see you next Sunday. Thank you.